Hey guys, Kareem Prim here coming to you, bringing you a quick video. Uh, just want to kind of touch base on the fact that there's, it's commonly said, one of the most commonly said phrases is that anyone can be successful in their own home based business. And for the most part, that's true. For the most part, it is true that anyone can be successful in their home based business. But if it was the, the reality, and then it would be millions and millions of millions of people working from home, all making millions of dollars, and that would be the end of it. But the, the question is, what is it that are the determining factors that give one person more success than the other? How you can have two people in the same business with the same product, the same compensation plan, um, all of the things are basically even, but then one will have massive success, massive success, and the other can barely make enough money on a monthly basis to pay their auto ship. And what's the difference between the two individuals? Well, that's what we want to deal with today. And it basically boils down to two questions or questions concerning two basic ideas or two basic categories. One, what are the values that you have as an individual? Because what you want to do is you want to be able to say, um, what are the chances that I can be successful? If I decide to jump out here and, and, and step out on the water in order to build a business, and then what are the likeliness that I'll be successful? Well, number one, like I said, what are your values as it relates to money and work? What is your value system as it relates to money and work? We want to go a little bit into that. Um, I think that is explained best with uh, Robert Kiyosaki, who is the author of the, the best-selling New York Times bestseller, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Cash Flow Quadrant, basically anything to do with financial literacy, this man has done it. And he's putting excellent tools out there in order that you can really increase your financial literacy and, and, and really understand how to build and the concept, the, the philosophy behind building. So. Um, what we're going to do is go a little bit into the cash flow quadrant. As a matter of fact, who better to explain the cash flow quadrant? And you ask yourself, what category do you fall in? A very important diagram my rich dad showed me when I was a little boy was a diagram known as a cash flow quadrant. And the quadrant is made up of the four different people who make up the world of business. So my rich dad said, in the world of business, there's E's. And E's stand for employees. An employee, he says, you can always tell who they are by their core values. And what the employee, whether the president or the janitor of the company, will always say the same words. The words are, I'm looking for a safe, secure job with benefits. That's what makes them an employee, because their core values are security. The other, other one of the four is the S, or the small business owner or the self-employed. And again, their core values will cause them to use the same words, which are, if you want it done right, do it by yourself. S means they're also solo. They're generally one person act or they operate by themselves. On the right side of the quadrant are the Bs. And what Rich Dad said the B stood for was big business, or like Bill Gates. Forbes defines big business as 500 employees or more. And their words are different. They say, I'm looking for a good system, a good network, and the smartest people I know to help run my business. So they're unlike the S, they don't want to run the company by themselves. They want smart people to run their companies for them. And then the fourth of the quadrant is the I, and I stands for investor. These are people who have money work hard for them. These people are people who have people work hard for them. And these are the people that work hard for the rich here. And that's one of the big differences. On this side of the quadrant, these people here work for security. They work for money also. On this side over here, their key value that they want is they want freedom. They don't want to have to work at a job anymore. They don't want to have to work for the rest of their lives. So the beauty of building a business and learning how to invest is very simply that this is passive income. You work hard for a few years, but possibly for the rest of your life, income keeps flowing. For people who want to make the shift over to the B quadrant, which is what I would recommend for people. One of the beauties of a network marketing company is that you can do that for a very low price. And that's why I talk to people about considering network marketing. If you're to build a Microsoft, it would take you hundreds of millions of dollars. But a network marketing company allows you to start at a very low rate, they'll be patient with you, they'll take their time to transition over here. 
the reason why that time is so important to most people is it takes time to change those values. And the most important thing is once you take the time, let's say it takes one year, two years, five years, whatever time it takes, once you see the, the value or the core values of this side and this side, you're unstoppable. Today, I would never go back and get a job. Why should I? I'd rather go stay on this side, build companies, pay less taxes, and make more money. But the key is a person needs to change the values from my poor dad to the values of my rich dad. And that's one of the beauties of network marketing companies. They allow you the time, and at very low cost, they'll work with you to make that transition over there.